I would like you guys to know that I literally filmed this entire video and then realized that I was not recording at all, besides my audio. <laughs> so, I guess we're second time's the charm. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the readings from Mass. Thank you all so much for being here. I feel so blessed to have you and thank you for praying with me today. Today we are going to be meditating on the first reading, which is from the Acts of the Apostles. I want to draw from the latter portion of this reading where I found it very interesting that we see the Holy Spirit very much having a hand in the missionary work of Paul and Barnabas, right? We see him kind of showing them where to go, where not to go, kind of barring them from going to certain places, appearing in a dream other times, telling them they should go somewhere. This kind of reminded me of some saints who thought that they were really supposed to do one thing with their lives, but then turns out that things didn't work out as planned and they were really called to do something else that they had no idea of. I think of people like St. Louis, King of France, who really felt spiritually called to lead a successful crusade. And St. Therese of Lisieux, who as a child really felt called to be a missionary. And St. Bridget of Sweden, who is a patroness of failure, because she never saw anything that she felt called to do come to fruition while she was alive. She thought that she was supposed to start these monasteries and she was supposed to bring the Pope back to Rome and she was supposed to unite France and England. And she never saw any of that happen before she died. I feel like this can happen to us a lot of times as well where we really feel called to do a particular thing with our lives and we are praying about it and we feel that the Lord really wants this to happen. The stars look like they're aligning and we're going to get that job or get that degree or date that person, but then it doesn't end up working out. And we can easily get very frustrated and think, oh, why are you doing this to me? I thought you wanted this to happen. I prayed about this. We talked about this. And I thought this is what you wanted me to do. Why are you messing with me? And I think that we can take a page from a lot of these saints and in the gospel specifically, Paul and Barnabas, who we never see getting frustrated with God for derailing their missionary plans. We don't ever hear of St. Louis bemoaning his failed crusade, but he's actually documented as talking about how a lot of great blessings came from it. I think we can get so set on something in our minds and think that this is what we have to do and this is what God's calling us to, where when it goes wrong, we actually have an opportunity to let God take control of our lives and show us that whatever that missed opportunity was, wasn't really what we were called to do in the first place. If we truly believe that God is in control of our lives, then we ought to believe that when one opportunity doesn't come our way, it really is the opening of another door to something that is even better than what we thought God had in store for us. Because if God truly is in control, then he only will lead us to what will make us truly and perfectly happy. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, send it to a friend, uh, hit me up on Instagram, and send me any prayer requests you might have. May God bless you and may we all ever grow in love of the Lord. Bye. There's a fuzz. Okay. There's a fuzz. He just is floating everywhere.